Sneaker fan, what's going on? It's your boy Jay back with my real and fake review on these Shattered Back Boy 3.0s, man. And I have to apologize to you guys because I promised you guys I was going to do this video last night. <laughs> but I tell you what, man, I was still reeling the effects of recording that Shattered Back Boy 3.0 video 3 o'clock in the morning. And when I got home from work, I went straight to sleep, man. I couldn't stay up, man. So my apologies. It's 3 o'clock. Nope, it's... 5.30 right now in the morning and I have to get this video done before I have to start getting ready for work. So without further ado, let's get it going. By the way, yes, I have the whole crew with me, man. I have the weight scale. I got the black light, man. We're going to go in on this shoe. And from the looks of it right now, man, this looks pretty close. So we're going to start with the fake pair. Look at the label. You guys can uh, pause it or whatever. Take a real, real, real good look at it. This is the fake pair. This is the retail pair from Sneakers. So like I said, I did not look at any of these things together. So we're gonna see this <laughs> together. As you can see right now, like the font and everything is completely different uh, on the label. So that's one thing you can tell, but alone, Maybe not. So hopefully that'll help you unless someone switches the boxes out. So here we go. We'll look at them uh, stacked on top of each other. If I could get that uh, in the camera. So you see that there? Real is at the bottom. Fake is at the top. So you can see that there. There's a difference. I'll tell you what. By the way, boxes are very, very important. This, these things look like totally identical. It might be a font difference, but I mean, it's like, there's no way. Fake, real. Take a look at the back and here's the stamp. And I guess the stamp is more bold on the retail pair let's put that up of course you guys remember these these are the old receipts still has return label and everything on there so there you go so without further ado let's pull these suckers out this is the whole thing right here. This is, all right, so I'm seeing it already. I'm seeing it already. Just a couple of things, but uh, from here, there is, wow, my retail pair has no mold sticker in it. That's fine, and I think the fake one does because I reviewed that already. So this is here, this is the retail pair of this uh, Shattered Backboard 3.0. This is what, uh, 450 or 550 right now. So let's see what's going on. All right, ready to go in on this. people there they go retail third party fake foo foo whatever you call it anything but you ate there's absolutely nothing authentic about it not made in the same factory uh, replicated materials because the, the, the factory that outsourced it yeah, did not provide them it's just they did an excellent job they know what they're doing uh, copying this. All right, so where do I begin? And we can start right now. I can still see the difference. This feels super light, by the way. First things first, lace bag. Lace bag, the way this thing's wrapped. Now, so if somebody was scamming and switched the lace bag and everything, and they had the retail pair and they switched everything over and put it on that, yeah, then that 
might be a problem. Like, if I bought this shoe, like I said, if I take my shoe, take the lace bag, switch everything over, put it in the retail box, that might be a problem for somebody. <laughs> Let me tell y'all right now, but I'm gonna see some things. Okay, so first, lace bag. That's always a problem. This is the retail pair, lace bag is right. Big bag, laces are wrapped right. This is the fake pair, you can see it here already. Laces are a different color. Wrapped differently, everything. And Jumpman, I think I can probably rub this Jumpman off. I'm not gonna do it though. Has the red strip up top. This one doesn't, and this is the latest version. So we're gonna look at that Wings logo. Look at the Wings logo. Get real close up on it. And it looks like that Wings logo is more embossed in the material that printed into the material. It's really, really in there. Really imprinted in the material, and this one is not. So those are the things you gotta look for. Are the oranges the same? Close, but not. The retail pair is a bit darker. And I think the same for every Jordan 1. Mmm. Man, this thing has a, the, the retail pair has a bit of a glossier finish on it as well. And another thing that I noticed was the paneling again, as when they replicate these Jordan 1s, they're not completely to scale as the retail pair, so you can see the paneling. So it still looks overscaled, especially when you have them both in hand. You can, you can tell the difference. That back pinch. And you can see finally that the uh, retail pair is a little bit taller than the fake pair. Lean, there's, this one's leaning. Retail pair, barely has a lean to it, but I think the pinch you see a little bit more on the retail pair and there's a slight pinch on the fake pair. Take a look at the soles, midsoles. Midsoles are, midsole patterns completely different, also a different color. So it's like the typical basic things, but I mean, look at the stitching on these things. The stitchings are pretty, pretty clean on this, but you can see a little bit of difference here on this flap. Like it's like this, this junction here. The wrinkles, that varies, so I'm not even gonna point that out. What I will point out, this is the replicated pair right here, is the toe box. That mud guard, you should know from that right now, they still haven't fixed it. Star pattern. You can tell from the pattern in the rows. It's more rows, and this is and the stars are smaller on this one, less rows. Toe box. Yeah, we're looking. I'm looking at the holes, the perforated holes, and they're all different. See that second row. Look at that row. Stuff like that you won't tell unless you have both side by side. But the toe box is a dead giveaway uh, once again on these shoes. We can see the, the cut on the leather material. And this looks like a thicker cut on the fake pair. Get a good close look on that. It's a thinner cut. You can tell they use, of course, like a different material and stuff like that. 
All right, different leather. All right, so, well, well, look at that there. Can you, <laughs> so they put the new school shoe tree in this shoe and look what I have, cause this is old back in the day, 10 and a half, 12. And look at this. They got the new school shoe tree in it with the die cut sock liner. There's another dead giveaway. There we go. They, they old school. I showed, you, I showed you my old receipt. Showed you my old receipt. Another uh, dead giveaway. So that's how long it's been. So let's go take a look at the tongue, which is another giveaway on these. Is a tongue. Yeah, something about the tongue on these. Also the back. The print on the tongue. What we have here. Made in China. Legit pair. Made in Vietnam. And look how clean uh, the font is on there. All righty. In the back, the feel of this is something about the materials on the back of these tongues. There's something always strange about it. I'm trying to look at the stitch lines and everything, which looks pretty good. All right. We're going to look at the QR code production date on this since it's wide open. I'm just going to read it for you guys. I have. 8, 5, 18 to 8, 15. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, 8, 5, 19 to 8, 18, 19. Ooh, that's messing with my eyes. I need to brighten up my light. And what do we have here on the fake pair? You guys can pause and zoom in on that. And, um... We have 320, 19 to 515, 19. None of the yeah. Three to five. So, you see, are these production dates the same? Maybe I read that wrong. Five, five, 19 to eight, 18, 19 uh, is the retail pair. 515, 8, oh gosh, 19. It is a 19. This is killing me, y'all. Oh my gosh. This is killing me. I have to put a light on this. That is right. 6, 5, 19 to 8, 13, 19. Correction. 6, 5, 19 to 8, 13, 19. Jeez, I had to use the light from my phone. <laughs> too dark, it's still too dark in here. Okay, so that's the retail pair and that's the fake pair. I'm not even sure if I should even continue, but I will because there's differences. Slightly different shade of orange. Like I say, on foot, somebody's wearing it. If it's just for you because you're not gonna pay $500 for this, that's fine. Uh, that's not really the reason this video is being made. This video is being made because this shoe, for some strange reason, continuously passes legit check, the legit checking process when it should not. Uh, uh, legit checkers should have some type of uh, base shoe <laughs> for them to go by, you know, and should know how most of these Jordan 1 replicated versions should come. Take a look at the bottom. Take a squeeze. Retail pair. This is the bow test right here. So when you squeeze this one, it's bowing out. All right, son. I hope that didn't come out in the video. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can pull out this insole. This has been sitting in the box for, is that 2018, 2019? It's been sitting in my, in, in my home for three years. 
And um, I'm gonna see if I can pull out this insole and it does not look like I can. Oh, I got it, I got it, all right. All right, that is my retail pair insole. And um, there's no tape in here, but you usually see tape on this, but it's glue. And uh, that's it. So we're gonna pull this bad boy out. I think sticking to one shoe is fine with 15 minutes in. And then um, I just blacklight and weigh, and weigh it because there's, ah. Hey, well looky here. It's pretty close. So I think if you had send something like this on a check, check at, fake is at the bottom. Um, yeah, they, they might let it slide, but maybe not. There's still a difference. It's a, a, a lighter shade. It's a better, darker shade of blue. This is a lighter shade of blue. You can see the, the lines of glue uh, more pronounced. So, and it's been sitting for three years and they just made this. So, all right. All right. And then that's that typical, what they do. They got the tape on the inside and that stitch is different. And this, the footbed looks like it's a different color, correct? I could be wrong, but guess what? I got them both here and let's see. No, I am wrong. But yeah, the stitching, they got white stitching, whereas black stitching in this one in the retail pair. Retail pair, fake pair. All right. All right, let's get these back together. I'm going to weigh them and black light them, and then this video will come to a close. So, um, I mean, my conclusion already is that this shoe shouldn't be passing legit checks. Alone, it was very scary. So I'm thinking if you are supposed legit checker, whatever company it is, you guys got to have a retail shoe somewhere to know what's going on. And also, I feel that you guys should get on the, you know, get a counterfeit. You got to. You can't be a real legit checker without knowing about these. It's, it's, tip, it's impossible. Impossible telling y'all now every batch every version you gotta have them. that's my take on it and I'm having an issue putting this insole back in because it's pretty sticky all right we get that in this is a time killer right here time killer because I have to I have to weigh these things all right so what I'm gonna do is what I'm gonna do is uh I'm gonna weigh them without the shoe tree because they're different shoe trees. So I'm just gonna leave that out and take this one out. I'm gonna weigh them and let's see what's up. All right. Let's bring out the trusty weight scale. zeroed out let's see what's up left shoe retail pair one pound 2.6 ounces left shoe this is the fake pair boom and wasn't I wrong One pound, 1.9 ounces. The fake one is actually lighter. All right? Take the right shoe. One pound, 2.1 ounces. It's in here. One pound, 1.6 ounces. All right? Fake shoe is a bit lighter. Turn that off. All right, so now... Let's bring out the back light, black light. So, I don't think I need to dim my lights for this. We can see all we need to see right here. All right, retail pair, black light. Boom, you got a little residue 
right there. Look at that change in color. Got a little residue there, glue stains. Look under it, no watermarks, no nothing. And you can see how the orange changed under the light. And let's see this one. Let's see if the orange changed under the light. And I say, yeah, they're both basically like the same there, color-wise. Because it's, it's, it, it changed a slight tone on it. Uh, pretty clean, no dash marks. Nothing like that. So that orange did change under the light, even though the retail pair is a slight darker shade. You can actually see that there under the light. So uh, quality on this thing, yeah, there's no dash marks or anything like that. The stitching on the swoosh and everything and around the shoe turned purple on this fake pair. If you can see under that black light, let me see how it looks on this one, if it's the same. Uh, yeah. When I'm just looking at this right now, the stitch pattern is a finer stitching on this one. And this one isn't. Can you see that? I see it. But yeah, man, I don't see anything Any problems with that with this one here no dash marks no nothing pen mark you want to call it, whatever you want to call it it's pretty clean pretty pretty clean all right look at this one here retail shoe yeah there you go you see look goop there you see it and what is this they put a little mark there, a little stain, but this has all that glowing. Look at all that. Look at all of that glowing there. Under the light on the retail pair. And the, uh, this pair doesn't, look at that. Still doesn't mean much. You can see it just a little bit. And I take a look at the inside where we have the the tag glowing on the inside and the Nike Air is glowing as well under the light. Take a look on the inside of this one. It should be, everything's glowing the same. Production label and everything's glowing on the inside. Let me move this lace bag. Under the, under the black light. So that's it. In conclusion, uh, like I said, this still the shoe still should not pass uh, authenticity checks. Uh, point blank, uh, heck of a job by the replicators. They they did heck of a job, but it's still the same issue: scale difference, especially like the side profile. There, there, it's it, it's the panel blocking on the mid panel. The swoosh, everything's, like I say, when they replicate these things, they make them a bit larger because all they have to go by is a photo and they use the same molds that they use all the time. So that's their base. That's their base and then they make the adjustments accordingly. So, hey, it is what it is. Still a great job. It's a good replacement. You know what I mean? If somebody don't want to spend 400 bucks, whatever, 500 bucks, that's not my concern. But um, when it comes to legit check-in, it still should not pass. Look how, how much bigger these stars are compared to that. Um, that's like a night and day difference with the color of the sole and everything. So it's like, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get how these things pass. Uh, shame on authenticators, point blank. <laughs> Do a better job. Do a better job. And if they're going to take this thing seriously and not play with people's money, um, invest. Invest in getting these things so you can have a base and make sure you do have a retail pair. Point blank. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's your boy Jake signing out. Appreciate y'all. 10K on the way. Less than 50 subscribers to go. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. More videos coming. It's your boy Jake signing out.
Peace.